I'm Rebecca in the Keys with Florida Keys Television, TV88, and we are here at Anthony's Clothing Store in Key Largo setting up for the annual 4th of July parade that goes from here to the Key Largo Community Park. We're going to talk to the chamber who's doing it this year, and we're going to talk to some people who are putting together the floats to see how it all came together. So come on, follow us in this parade. My name is Roberto Alonso. I am here representing the Key Largo Chamber of Commerce as the chairman of the board. And I am here with Lady Liberty. Let me give you a kiss. Oh, <laughs> my liberty just <laughs> fell off, but okay. <laughs> we are here celebrating the blessings of being in our most magnificent country and celebrating the freedom, independence, our beautiful, beloved country. We have a love checklist. We love our military, we love our veterans, we love our first responder, responders, and we love our country. Thank well you. Well said. Thank you very much, and thank you for putting this on this year. All right. Thank you very much to all of you. All right. Good luck. <laughs> Okay, we are here with Laz and Autumn, and they are the Grand Marshals of this parade. Laz, tell me about your experience and your wife. Uh, she was my girlfriend of 13 years, and we had this wonderful little girl. Her mom worked for Monroe County as a deputy. Uh, 2010, uh, in June, she was killed in, in a hit-and-run car accident. Yes. Uh, I'm also a police officer. I work for the city of Homestead. Uh, I'll be retiring soon. Yay. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And what does this 4th of July parade mean to you? It means a lot because I get to honor my mom. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for being our Grand Marshals today. And good luck and happy 4th. Um, and I'd like to thank all the citizens that uh, honor the police, that still believe in the police. Believe me, we're still here. There's nobody else coming when you need us. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, I'm here with Carson. Carson, tell me about your sign. Um, it is saying thanks to the medics, police, and firemen to the, of the Keys. And why did you want to do that? Why did you want to thank these people? Because they've helped the Keys a lot, and without them, we wouldn't really be safe that much. All right, we're here with Stella. Tell us about your decorations on your truly Nolan cars. Well, this is the once a year that we always like to participate. It's a nice community event, and truly Nolan loves to give back to the community. So we love to give out the ki you know stuff for the kids, and and you know. It's and your cars are usually a little decorated, right? Right, right. We just add a little more today. Well, good luck in the parade today and happy 4th. Thank you, you too. We are here with Elizabeth. She is the president of the Chamber of Commerce. Elizabeth, tell us about this parade this year. Oh my goodness, what an overwhelming year this is. It's the 43rd year of the annual 4th of July parade here in Key Largo. Uh, the Chamber has been doing it for quite a few years and this year we're honoring our fallen um, first responders. So it's a very emotional year with everything happening in our world today. and the respect that we have for these police officers and firefighters and EMT is just overwhelming. So it's, it's going to be a great day. It's perfect weather here in the beautiful Florida Keys. All right, I'm here with Wendy and Lisa and they are building a float right now and it's honoring the fallen heroes. Tell me about the float. Well, we decided we love our firemen. They're so great. They've, they've done so much for our community. So we made a little fire truck out of a little trailer um, and um, just supporting our fallen heroes and everybody that helped out during Irma and all the things that we do for in our community. Happy 4th of July! Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th, cheers. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July! And we have a lot of candidates here in the parade. This is Michelle and you're running for county commission. How are you doing? I'm good. It's Michelle Coldiron, and yes, I am running for County Commission District 2, and it's a beautiful day here in Key Largo, and I'm really excited to be a participant in this year's parade. What does 4th of July mean to you? Well, it's celebrating Independence Day, and it's celebrating our nation becoming one, and I love everything about it. I love the, that we thank and honor people who continue to serve our country so that we continue to have an Independence Day, and I love the fact that I live in a place where I have freedom of speech and of will, and 
It's all good. Dottie, who are you here with today? I'm here with the League of Women Voters today. Oh, that's great. So tell me about your float. Okay, so we're going to have a Tesla uh -huh. coming. <gasps> a and Tesla. We're advocating for green cars, electric cars for green. We have a solar co-op that we've uh, advocated for in the Upper Keys. We had 118 people show up for it, uh, sign up for that cooperative. And uh, at, at the uh, barbecue later on, we'll be registering people to vote. We're with Laraco and All Keys Concrete from Key Largo. I love the hat. Where'd you get that? Uh, Kmart. <laughs> Kmart, okay. All right, tell us about your float today. Well, we're, we're just representing uh, our concrete and block delivering, and, you know, we do much of uh, Key Largo and the whole entire Keys. Happy Fourth of July! Happy 4th of July! Tell me, tell me about this float here. We are Burton Memorial United Methodist Church. We are advertising our Vacation Bible School coming up July 16th through the 20th. And the theme of Vacation Bible School is shipwrecked. Okay, so we have entered the contest for the most beautiful and our little car is the most beautiful one in the parade that I've seen so far, but there's still time to go. All right, who better to ask about what 4th of July means than Holly Rashine? Holly, tell us what does it mean to you today to be in the parade? Well, it's all about supporting our community and celebrating our nation's birthday and hanging out with family. Yeah. Say hi, who's this? Hi, My name is Drake. Hope everybody has a safe holiday. Enjoy the water, enjoy the sun, and have fun. Happy 4th of July! Happy 4th of July! Happy 4th of July! Happy Fourth of July. So I'm here with Don Horton, who is with the Upper Keys Republican Club. That's right. Tell us about your float. Well, we, what we did is we put together to honor the first responders. As you can see, only as we go by the judges, only people that are local are going to understand the helicopter next to the power lines. But we have uh, we have the FKEC uh, represented here. We have all of our ambulance, our fire, and our, our local police. and. Uh, and we're very appreciative of all of these people that do everything that come in, come in while we're going out. We are now playing Alley Cat, the Keys Community Concert Band. One, two, event what a great day beautiful here in Key Largo the best parade ever I love this it's such a beautiful day to be here in America we're so proud proud of our veterans of this country and I'm so happy to be part of this so happy 4th of July everybody thank you happy 4th of July happy 4th of July happy 4th of July happy 4th of July This is the Golden Conch Award for you all to remember us today. So every time you see that on your shelf and you're dusting it off, just think that we're all thinking of you and appreciate everything that you do. Amen. Thank you. All right.